guys, it's your favorite Red and Blue Fox, Spiky McFox, and I'm about to go skiing. Now, I'm gonna be teaching you guys a little bit about how to ski. I'm still new at this, so, like most things I do, <laughs> um, but I'll show you guys what I know. Don't have to follow all these tips. Now, this is the perfect hill, even though I have to walk up it because the little machine isn't working. Um, it's perfect because no one's on it. And it's it's not like, it's a bunny hill, but it's a bit steeper than the one over there. So I'm going to be basically on this the whole night. I don't know if I'll get any scenes of me walking up because that's me walking up. I don't want to like take all that time. Um, but anyways, let's get into our skis. So, so guys, I have to watch out for my battery life. But anyways, what you have to do, you obviously have to have your, your ski boots all tightened up, ready to go. And your skis. You have to make sure they're facing the right direction. It doesn't matter which foot is on what. As long as it's on the right direction, you have to lock your foot in place till you hear that snap and it lifts up. And then you gotta do the same with the other foot. Now, if you guys don't notice this, I am doing this. Oh, shoot. I am doing this. Um, well, if I can get this, okay, there we go. I'm doing this on my side. That's where I'm going downhill. But the thing is, if you're getting, usually you don't get your skis on when you're up the hill, but since I'm walking up the hill and I just want to do that, you have to make sure your skis are on the side so you don't unaccidentally, you know, slip down while you're just getting them on. But anyways, my skis are on. So, uh, so now you have to remember guys, this is slowing down so guys you do your little V in there. I don't know if you guys can hear me too well, but anyways, what you want to do, this one is going down real fast. You don't want to. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm angling my foot. The direction I want to go, I go that direction, if I angle my foot in. But I'm also kind of doing a A shape so I can slow down a bit when I get to the bottom of the hill. I think you guys will see that more in a minute. Now, since I'm about to walk up the hill, and normally, See, I don't have any poles with me, but that's because skiers, especially when you're young, you want to learn to do it without poles because that's what professional skiers do. It's the best way. So, but what you do is you have like a little back latch there. And what I'm going to do, and it's very hard to do kind of without skis. It's usually meant for skis, but that's all right. I'm going to push down and get my foot out. Whoa. And I'm going to do the same. It's easier when one's already off. I'm going to lift my put out when I hear that pop. And there we go. Now I'm going to go down the hill once more, show you guys. If needed, I'll go down a third time, but otherwise that'll probably be the end of the video. I'll probably just make other clips, but I'm also ending the video because my battery life is short and because I don't know all the skills that you guys need to know. But anyways, let's go on to this next go down on the hill and I'll show you guys what you need to do and what you need to remember when you're going down the hill. Like I already taught you, kind of gonna review that a little bit, but you guys will see. So I'm on the side of the hill again. You know, I don't wanna slip down, like I said, because I have to walk up the hill. Um, you don't wanna slip down either way, but I'm less secure if I didn't have my But anyways, what you wanna do right away, especially if you start going really fast, you wanna make a wide X turn or else you're gonna fall. You cannot ski down the hill straight. It's just not possible. But if you do, you're more likely to fall. So sorry, I had no mittens in the right. My glass here. Remember, you can end in an A shape if you want. Not too close. You don't want to get on your skis. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications anytime I upload a new video. Now, normally I'd be wearing my fursuit, and I might show you guys a video of me skiing in fursuit. Um, I actually have, well, actually, I think I only have the tail and paws with me of Spiky, but I'll show you guys someday. Um, but, yeah, I'll be skiing some more. But, yeah, I hope you guys learned a bit from this video. But remember, subscribe, hit the bell, like, and comment what you thought. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.
creepy snow guard, 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 creepy snow guard.